Welcome to Book Chat. In this exciting new fantasy novel by Leanne Tanner, the adventure is centred on Beren, the bustling capital city of Newhold, where we meet a young boy from the country who is trying to adjust to all the new strange sights and sounds of city life. What is about to take place has its roots back hundreds of years when the great Byams enjoyed an unparalleled magical power that had waned since the interlopers to their land had built a castle on top of their sacred rock. I will read a, sh a short passage explaining the backstory and its consequences, both in the past and to the people of Beren, ever since the fateful day that the Margrave decided to build his stronghold on the magic rock. The Bayam of the time begged him to choose somewhere else. But that first Margrave was a brutal man. His own people called him Hemmer the Cruel or Hemmer the Harsh, and he despised the Seth. So instead of listening to the Bayam, he laughed in her face, and then he vowed that he would hunt her people to extinction just as soon as he had finished building his stronghold. The Bayam was not supposed to lay curses, so she waited hoping that the grimstone would rouse itself and throw off the builders. But the grimstone must have been asleep, because the stronghold rose higher and higher, and spread wider and wider, until one day it covered the sacred rock entirely. On that day, the Bayam gave the Rashk and the wind's blessing to her daughter for safekeeping. Then she crept into the stronghold, determined to bring the whole thing tumbling to the ground. But something went wrong. Perhaps the grimstone woke up at last. Perhaps it had its own plans. Whatever the reason, as the Bayam's curse uncoiled, the Bayam vanished, taking much of her power with her. And instead of falling down, the stronghold enclosed itself in an invisible wall. People could go in easily enough, but none of the people who lived there could ever come out. The rest of Beren felt the effects of that misshapen curse too. All through the city, the delicate land magic of Saith grew strange and hostile. It tangled people's feet and took them to places they didn't want to go. It set trees to grow overnight and dropped fish and frogs from the sky. It drew deadly airs up from under the ground. And finally, it took the people's disbelief in magic and hardened it into something that had lasted 500 years. No matter what happened to them, the citizens of Beren found some other reason for it. The present day Bayam sighed. It is no use dwelling on the long ago. I must make do with what power I have and summon the girl. Then I must teach her and the boy how to use their magic before my time runs out. Are you fascinated by the idea of a talking cat? How about a cruel bogeyman who can turn everyone to ice or magical humming that can conjure a warm breeze to melt that ice and give you a sporting chance of escaping certain death? If that all sounds intriguing, you'll like this action-packed adventure. Yes, the protagonists do have weird names. There is Pummel, the country boy, and his new friend Duckling, and her grandfather, Lord Rump, the biggest rogue you're ever likely to meet in literature. But despite their names, the complex threads of past and present, good and evil, and intersecting lives eventually come together in a very satisfying denouement. And the promise of more adventures to come as the power of the biome passes from the old to the new generation. And the hunt for the wind's blessing and a new life for the safe is revived. 
Enjoy the Rogues by Leanne Tanner.